Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what I did today. And if you want to follow this step-by-step -step process, you can. Um, I used, um, I'm going to show you the template I used. I'm going to take all these things off and show you that it actually is made from a template. So um, I have sent you a template for your um, art paper doll and you can use that if you want but you can also make your own template if you want as well. Um, the next thing I did is I looked for things that spoke to me about fall. Um, you know the colors are very very fall-like but there's also some really cool symbols that I really like and um, one is of course is the apple because I think the apple is a really um, dominant symbol in um, in autumn and fire um, fire there's two reasons why I chose fire one is because I feel that I have um, it's a symbol it's a symbolic of the inner fire that I think I get in touch with when I'm working with meditation and yoga and um, also <clears throat> at this time of year um, you think about fire as being something that's warm and cozy but also fire to me is is the creative chakra the the chakra that's that's representing the creativity and um, that's an important symbol for me and <clears throat> I used something that reminded me of wings it was actually a cut apart painting that I used um, <clears throat> representing wings because I just think it just looked to me like there were wings and um, I used those and <clears throat> and I used um, the heart that was in here I cut the heart out because again I'm working a lot with the heart chakra and um, that's an important symbol for me for fall and then of course the owl is a really big symbol for me it is my animal spirit and um, it's the animal spirit that I used when I did the wise woman um, work that I did the inner wise woman work that I did um, last year and so I'm using that again and the other one that I'm using is um, the little bluebird because again the bluebird is a symbol for me as well um, it represents um, positive energy and hope and um, um, just a really happy, happy feeling. And I'm, I'm a very optimistic person, so I feel like this symbolizes my own attitude towards life. And um, I also used um, this thing that actually looks like a deer. And the deer symbolizes the gentleness in um, how I try to be gentle in my life and how I try to um, stay innocent and trusting in my life because I think deers are very trusting and very gentle animals. And of course the sunflower is also a really important symbol for me. Um, <clears throat> it's just a very important flower um, that I it's one of my very special flowers. I love the sunflowers. And then I used uh, little berries because a couple of days ago I found some little uh, berries that were in my yard. And so it was the first symbol of, of um, fall that I used. And again, um, the, the leaves that are here are also symbolic of the all the little berries that I found in the fall, you know, it's symbol symbolic of the fall. And I'm going to show you also, I'm going to go over here and show you um, just a little bit of what I mean by picking things from um, going on like a like a yard, you know, like go, going out to your yard and to your nat on a nature trail and finding things that represent fall. Um, this is a flower that was in my garden, was the last part of my garden, and I thought it was very fall-like. 
and the bark is uh, something I found that was peeling off of a tree and um, this little angel is something that I always put out for the fall it's um, one of the little angels that was made by a friend of mine that um, I put out for the fall all the time and then um, there's leaves and also little berries and um, at home I have um, some acorns on my um, my altar so if you want to do this this is another thing that's important about being getting in touch with fall is <clears throat> choosing objects that that you um, you know throughout the throughout fall if you want to pick out objects and put them in your on your altar or put them in your um, the place where you do your creative work or put them in your um, you know on a shelf somewhere just to represent something that is very special about fall and again you can see that this is my collage images that I use um, when I um, start collecting images I just cut lots and lots of things out that I might use um, for what I'm working on um, I was doing dreamscapes in one of my groups and um, I used dreamscapes and in that particular group I actually used um, kind of like landscape forms and collaged on the on the um, the surface of the canvas so that I actually had dreamscapes that I created out of the collage material so this is just an example of, of how I work and um, I will be sharing more um, as I go and um, you know sending you things and uh, if I can help in any way um, let me know and um, I hope you enjoy the group thank you bye bye